just seemed like a turtle or kept you. A few more seconds and I would have had you. <laughs> Please, I beat you easy. I'm watching a protest. You guys cut me off. Cleo, you were so far behind me, I forgot you were even there. Winning isn't everything, you know. And that is why you're third. I'll beat you on the way back. You'll try. I'm just faster than you. How many more times do I have to beat you to prove that? This isn't hot chocolate. This is lukewarm chocolate. They should say lukewarm chocolate on the menu if that's what they're going to serve. And I didn't see that. Excellent. I'll pretend you're interesting. So, you mean you're not interested in how I'm going to save you from the full moon tide? We can do that. Maybe. Give it a rest, you two. Every month the full moon hits one of us. And every month crazy stuff happens. Yes, but preparation is nine-tenths of the battle. No offence, Lewis, but we've already prepared. Yep, I've taped up all the curtains in my room. No light can get in. And I'm going to zip myself up inside my sleeping bag under my journal. And my bedroom's sealed. Totally light-proof. We need to avoid the moon's reflection too, remember? Guys, oh, stop. No, I've got it all covered. I've just downloaded a new astronomy program. It shows the night sky from any place on Earth. It's very accurate. I've got a theory that the moon's power over you guys has something to do with planetary alignments. And you can do something about that? I'll need to calculate the moon's position relative to other celestial bodies to verify my theory. I'd rather just hide in my sleeping bag. Yeah, Lewis, thanks, but we don't need your help. Oh, really? Moon rises at precisely 8.37 p.m. and sets at 7.59 a.m. I've got it all worked out. See, they don't call me Mr. Capable for nothing. No one calls you that. Oh, they will. This. No, you're not. I just bought it. But I don't have anything to wear. I don't want to look like a loser at my first real adult concert. I want to look cool. Not my problem. Go find something in your own cupboard. Off you go. Hey, just because Mum and Dad are split up, it doesn't mean you're in charge. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, yeah? How's this? Stay out of my room. Cleo won't let me borrow anything. Cleo, we need to sort this out. Yeah, tell her to stay out of my room. Tell her not to be so selfish. Girls, please. I liked it better when your mother handled these things. Not that we can't work this out together, right? Cleo, you're taking Kim to the concert tomorrow. Me? What? I don't even like the dysfunctionals. Look, your mother bought two tickets to this concert before she, you know, before she left. Dad, it's not your fault. Your mother made a choice, Cleo. That's not what this is about. I have to be at a fishing co-op meeting all day. And we have to pull together as a family, now more than ever. Someone has to look after Kim at this concert. I can go on my own. No, that's not an option. You're taking her. But all my friends will be there. No one else is going to have their big sister looking after them. I'm not a baby. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Look, Kim, Cleo's taking you tomorrow. That's settled. Now, get your things. You'll be late for netball. Fine. Oh! I hate this thing! It always spurts up in my face! What's wrong with it? Maybe you overfilled it. Come on, you can drive in the car. We're waiting. What's the story? Well, I have been examining all the data, cross-referencing gravitational pull, lunar tidal effect... And? And I'm still working on it. Lewis, how much did this program cost you? 
Like I said, I downloaded it off the net. Yeah, but how much did it cost you? $24.95. Lewis, you got ripped off. Oh, come on. Guys, I am onto something here. I'm just... I'm not sure how the moon force works on you the way it does. It's weird. It's weird. Thanks, Lewis. We walked all the way over here for nothing. Anyway, guys, it's getting late. We should go home and lock ourselves away. Relax. We've got at least an hour before the moon rises. just sit around and wait. I'm going home. Me too. Hey, do you think there's still time to get a burger? I'm kind of hungry. Ricky, kidding. Lewis, we're leaving. Call each of us the minute the moon rises. Yep. It's important, Lewis, check on us. In case something happens. Yes, yes, I'm hearing you. We're gonna go upstairs and have a pillow fight in our gym jams. Wanna come? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sounds interesting. Hopefully. Go straight home, don't stop off anywhere. No chance of that. Good luck. You too. What are you doing? constantly changes. Venus is the closest planet and can be seen with the naked eye. Interesting. Wait, the time. It's not right. Ah, I get it. It's Korean software. It's set on Korean time. So, the night sky here is one hour earlier. That means the moon's up already. Girls, don't... Girls? to the house. Good, it's me, it's Lewis, your friend. No, 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 don't do that. You're just gonna make things... ...worse.
Your boyfriend. Lewis. Emma. Lucky I found you. Where are the others? Lewis. Leo. Are you alright? You have to leave, Lewis. We told you. We don't need your help. I was really worried about you. I take full responsibility for everything that's happened. Let's go home. We are home. I know. But I'm thinking you'll be more comfortable in your own bed. Let's go. We'll get you all out of this moonlight. Oh. fish in the ocean. What? You. The shiniest pearl. The perfect jewel. Did you sleep well? Uh, all right. Cleo, I want some toast. Make it yourself. You're supposed to be taking care of me, Dad said. I'm not your slave, Kim. Make your own toast. Dad! Sorry, girls, I've got to run. You work it out. I'll have one jam and one honey. I said, get it yourself. Fine. I'll have this instead.
as a toast. And I iced up a whole room. It's like our powers have changed. And they're out of control. Did anything go on last night? There was a full moon. I don't remember anything else. What did we do? I don't know. Was Lewis with us? There's a message. Look, Cleo, I know you won't get this message until you transform back to normal, but I'm sorry, and I'm coming. I'm nearly at Mako. Transform back? Why was he going to Mako Island at night? Maybe he was looking for us. We're already calling the Mako Island cyclone. A sudden and severe electrical storm struck the Mako Island area late last night, with winds reaching over 200 kilometers an hour. Meteorologists are puzzled by the sudden weather event and have no idea what caused it. Police have recovered a small aluminium boat adrift in the water nearby. Investigations are continuing. Are you sure this is where Lewis Moss's boat? Maybe he just went fishing. I'm coming, he said. I'm getting a really bad feeling. If he was out there in that storm, something horrible has happened to him. We don't know that for sure. Come on. the beaches and the lagoons. No sign of him. What about you? Not a trace. I didn't see a thing. I did. Lewis's torch. I found it by the rocks. You're sure it's his? I gave it to him last Christmas. You don't think? No. Cleo, we'll keep looking <coughs> until... Please, don't hurt me. I can't believe we did those things to you. It was like you were possessed. I mean, the full moon does horrible things to us. And we couldn't do things like that before, like creating wind or storms. Or lightning. You used to be in control. Your shorts are going to take ages. I'll just dry them. Ah! Why are um, my shorts on fire? Oh. Really, thank you. Lewis, you know we never hurt you intentionally. Yeah, I know. But something's changed. Yeah, but why? It's just too dangerous. Yeah, we can't use our powers until we know what's going on. Especially not in public. <laughs> or near me. Or near our families. Oh, no. Kim? Maybe she went out. The concert. I was supposed to take her to the concert. She wouldn't go on her own, would she? Quick, we've got to find her before... Hello. Dinner. How was it, Cleo? Hi, guys. The concert? Yeah, was it fun? Did Kim have a good time? Where is she? Well, Dad, I... Hello, Dad. Here's my little muffin. 
How was the concert? It was the best, Daddy. They played all their hits and the crowd just screamed and screamed. It sounds like you had a great time. See, it wasn't so bad going with your big sister after all, was it? Right? Right. Well, I'm glad you two finally worked things out. Nice top, Kim. So, the way I see it, I keep this top and we never mention this ugly incident again. Kim! Let's not debate this, Cleo. Let's be adult about it. I don't think that's a good idea. Sorry. Are you all right? Sure, I think. You don't have to be sorry. It's not your fault. I know. I'm just really sorry it happened. That water just jumped out from nowhere. Yeah, there are some really strong winds around here. The trees create some sort of wind tunnel. You must be new. I'm Charlotte. Cleo. So, what do you think of our school? I like it. I'd like it even more if I could find the art room. It's just um, near the library. I can show you if you'd like. Thanks. Lewis, this is... Charlotte. Charlotte. Hi. Hi. What happened to you? Uh, a sprinkler just jumped out in front of me. <laughs> really? Mm. Well, we should get going, but nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Uh, the art room. Uh, don't, don't worry, I'll find it. <laughs> I'll see you around sometime. Yeah, you got it. So, has anyone else had their powers go a bit too far? Like what? Have you done anything really extreme lately? No. I don't see what all the drama's about. So what if we've got some new powers? Your powers have increased off the scale. That last full moon had some very rare planetary alignments. Again with the planetary alignments? It has to mean something. And until I figure out what, you need to learn some control. You don't know what you're capable of. That's what's so cool. Lewis has a point. We need to be careful. That's why I need to measure the range of your new powers. Here we go again. I'll help you through this, Cleo. Don't worry. I'm not worried. Every step of the way, I'll be there. Great. I'm going to get a juice. I'll get it. It's OK. I'll get it. No, I insist. Actually, I don't want a juice anymore. I changed my mind. No, are you sure? Yeah. I've got to go. Oh, where are you going? Are you going to make her? Maybe. I just need to be by myself for a while. All right, I'll see you later. You want my advice? Loosen the leash a little. just got a lot on my mind at the moment and I needed some time to think. What about? Hi, guys. Time for some testing. Is this going to take much longer? Because I do have a life. Ah. OK. Try and keep your hand movements to a minimum. Remember, small. Think small and then divide it by 10. I have no idea what you're talking about. Just try. But it's so lame. Lois, are you sure about this? Yes. Yes, I am. It's important. Remember, small movements.
That's not good. Are you kidding? That was cool. I could really have some fun with this. Okay, who's next? Okay, Cleo, third time lucky. I am not doing that. You could have fun. This is not how I have fun. Well, what do you have to lose? What if I can't control what happens? Oh, there is nothing to worry about. I'm going to be right next to you the entire time. That's comforting, I guess. Please, Cleo, just try it for me. I know it's scary, but I'm not going to leave you. Not for a second. Take a deep breath. Focus only on your powers and control. Okay. I'll try it. Just... Stop talking for a minute. All right, not another word. Except, I, I want you to know that I'm proud of you. I'm really, I'm really proud of you. That's all. Oh, do you want me to hold your other hand? No! Excuses. My nana could kick straighter than that. Get to the back of the line. Don't miss it again. Here we go, Lachlan. I'm sorry, Lewis. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Stop apologising. It only hurts when I move. That was pretty cool, though. Having that much power on tap is a rush. Maybe, but that kind of power demands responsibility. Until we learn control, we can't be tempted to use our powers. None of us. Why did you just look at me when you said that? I didn't. Yes, you did. You don't think I can control myself? Well, you are the one who thinks it's a bit of a rush. Here we go! Now, Billy trained the hardest today, so he's going to be captain again this week. Yes, I am the coolest! No, I'm the coolest, but you're a close second. Now, the rest of you, we have a big game tomorrow. Okay, we are gonna win this, guys. We're gonna roll! Yeah! Here we so, go. how's things? Great. How come you aren't sitting with the rest of the guys? I don't want to sit there, all right? Want to go home and kick the ball? be a waste of time. Come on, you can show me that scissor kick you've been practicing. I'm not good at it. Don't be silly. Of course you are. Who told you that? Everyone. Just leave me alone. feeling today? Lewis, you're here. So early. Yeah. Well, I got here before you started work. You really don't have to do that. Single scoop vanilla, thanks. Sure. Here. Let me. You, just, you relax and take it easy. I don't want to take it easy, Lewis. There we go. Thank you. Sorry I put you under so much pressure yesterday. I've cleared my whole day so we can hang out together. Lewis is driving me crazy. You mean it's taken you this long? He's really getting on my nerves. He wants to fix everything. I guess he means, well, 
I just wish he'd let us deal with it. He won't leave me alone. I feel like I'm under a microscope. I really like him, but he's... Totally suffocating. Yes. He's doing everything right. But I can't stand it anymore. I don't know what to do. Here's a thought. Dump him. Ricky. Let me talk to him. If he knew how you were feeling, maybe he'd give you some space. No. I can handle this. It's just something I need to work through. No. No, no, no. But I believe this. Oh, that's good. It's really... You OK? Yeah. Oh, just my battery died. Well, I've got my computer here. It looks like the same model. You can use my battery. Really? Oh, well, that'd be great. So what are you working on that's so important? Wow, I'm actually researching the miraculous natural phenomena. Oh, I love all that. So, where are they? Yeah. Those girls, Cleo and the others, seem to hang with them a lot. Yeah, well, that's, that's because we're good friends. Sure. Well, I'd better go. Well, hey, do you want your battery back? You keep it. I've got yours. Come on, Lachlan, get behind him, mate. He can't take them all by himself. Good. I had no idea. Thanks. What sort of painting is that? Japanese brush painting. Hmm. How do you get so many colours with the, the one brush? Well, with the smallest movements. You have to be precise and exact. Here. See? Precise and exact. It's like the Japanese proverb. If you want to fly like a butterfly, don't flap like a crow. Charlotte, you were the best. I am. Why? I've got to go. I'll talk to you later. And why am I doing this? Trust me, it just takes practice. If you want to fly like a butterfly, don't flap like a crow. What? This can teach you to be precise. You know, with your powers. Okay. Here, copy this. Fine. Remember, precise and exact. See? You're in control. Now put down the brush. Do the same with your powers. Be sure. Sure, I'm sure. Oh, come on, Elliot, that was pathetic. The idea is to kick the ball 
Billy shoved him. Yeah, only because Elliot was in his way. God, thank you, Billy. Stop dragging your feet, Elliot. I can't believe this. Every time Elliot gets the ball, he's fouled by one of his own teammates. It's so unfair. There, there. Don't lose a call, remember. Control. Relax. I'm in control. So how about it, Elliot? Want to be captain? I'll think about it. Great. Sounds like you've created a monster. There. Remember, small, decisive strokes. I can't do it. Yes, you can. I'm here to help you. That's it. I give up. Lewis, leave the brush. This is too weird. What is? Doing everything for me. Being with me every minute of the day. I'm just trying to help. Well, it's making me feel worse. I'm really confused right now. First, Mum and Dad split up, and then I turn into some power freak. Hey, you still have me. I know. And if things were halfway normal, that would be great. But you can't help me right now, Lewis. Yes, I can. I can fix it. Why are you always having to fix everyone? You can't fix us this time. This is up to Emma and Ricky and me. You're not one of us, Lewis. I almost am. No, you're not. I don't know how to say this, Lewis. But I think it would be better if I were alone for a while. It's a good idea. I mean, really alone. As in by myself. Without a boyfriend. Leo, you just missed the funniest thing ever. It wasn't ever. that bad. Nate's little brother was about to take the kick of his life when suddenly Captain Control here... I broke up with Lewis. I told him I needed to be alone. But I don't feel any better. You seriously broke up with him? For real? See what you've done? I was joking. I didn't think you'd actually do it. It's all right. It was my decision. Until we work out these powers, we shouldn't have any distractions. So just the other day, 
It all just felt so real Like nothing could go wrong It was like a never-ending dream Nothing ever changed For so long But now Mind if I sit? Is everything all right? Yes. No, it doesn't matter. Down in the dumps, aren't you? I guess. Well, whoever she is, she's got to be an idiot. This is for you. Concentrate. The smallest strokes create the best effects. If you want to fly like a butterfly, don't flap like a crow. Who wants to fly like a butterfly? Now, let's try with our powers. It worked! Hey, you did it! We were perfectly normal. And the time before that, we were mermaids. He's not going to forget that. And we'll just have to keep clear of water around him. Same as we do with everyone. Zane is not everyone. And he wants something he doesn't give up. Like... Like what? Like you, for instance. What's he going to do if he finds out we're mermaids? Are you sure you can trust him? Emma, I don't have to trust him. We broke up. That's where it's at. I just thought it might be hard seeing him around again. Well, it won't be. If Cleo can handle breaking up with Lewis, I can handle keeping Claire of Mr. Self-Absorbed, okay? Which transmits the radio frequency to the solenoid array. It's all homemade. Barometric pressure sensors, temperature scales. It's pretty cool, huh? I'm taking weather measurements. Can't you get that from the news? Not like this. You don't get this kind of precision from a news report. Okay, next question. Why? 
Your new powers control the weather, right? Right. So, to figure out what's going on, I need exact weather measurements to plot against the movement of the planets. This is too weird. Even for you. Oh, come on, guys. It's all linked. The planets, the moon, the ocean, your powers. Lewis was just showing us his new weather device. Really? That's great. Right, then I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Like, we're just friends. You are just friends. You dumped him. You did the right thing, Cleo. Our lives are way too complicated for guys right now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's a device for getting information on the weather. Well, I've got the weather channel at home. Uh, I kind of like to do it myself. Oh, really? Me too. So... Hmm? Do you need a hand? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Hold this. Good to see you again. How's your new school? Boring. All neat little uniforms, dedicated to producing the leaders of tomorrow. Wow, that sounds like you. Today, are we going to what? Later night. Life must be different for you. What do you mean? Now that you're normal. I like being a regular girl. I don't believe you. What? There's nothing regular about you. Here, on me. What's wrong? Not thirsty. I know. <laughs> I heard it stimulates the scientific side of the brain. I heard it stimulates the artistic side. Maybe it does both. Or maybe it just has a good PR machine. <laughs> You're very funny. You know that? Yeah. At my old school, I was reading about this study that links high intelligence with a good sense of humour. Oh, really? Yeah. I think you'd be off the chart. Hey, M, two apple and guava juices, please. Coming up. Seems nice. Do you think? Sure. She's happy and friendly. She and Lois seem to be getting on well. They do, don't they? Hey, I'm sure nothing's going on. Yeah, of course. She's just friendly. Mm -hmm. Just friendly. The way she flicks back her hair, that cute little smile, the way she laughs a little too hard. Very friendly. I think we should investigate her. What? 
Lewis knows a certain secret of ours. She's trying to get close to him. Who knows what she could find out? Cleo. Come on. We don't know anything about her. It's time we did. I'm not sure glue's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna be strong enough. Well, it needs some kind of support structure, but preferably not metal. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so it doesn't need to be the readings. <laughs> you know, it, it's so good to talk about this sort of stuff with someone who actually understands science. You're not afraid of me, are you? Zane, it's not gonna happen. Really? I can see it in your eyes. You want me back? No, I don't. It's over. Is that why you're still here? Okay. That's the way it's gonna be? Fine. Is everything all right? You seem a little tense. I'm not tense. Why should I be tense? I thought you'd be here. Make that to go. Well, come on, just hear me out. I was just messing around. You can trust me. Zane, get this into your head. No. Think about it. Trust him. Ricky, what have you said? Relax. He doesn't know anything. I thought you were going to stay away from him. I was. I mean, I am. Don't worry. He's gone. Good. And that's what you want, right? Definitely. Come on, something's not right about her. Don't be so suspicious. You don't believe me? Take a look at this. I looked up Charlotte's old school in the net. There's not even any mention of her name on the school records. Look, no Charlotte Watsford. No, Charlotte. Anybody. Are you sure you got the right school? This is serious. We have to tell Lewis before she gets her claws into him. You mean before she finds out we're mermaids? Yeah, right. Before that. So, must be tough moving to a new school. What she means to say is, hi. Hi. Um, yeah, it has been a little bit hard, but everyone's really nice. Yeah, they are. Because people around here are generally very honest. So, you're into art? Yeah. Stop at my old school in art. I'm into sketching, ceramics. Even exhibited at a couple of galleries. Really? Your old school must be really proud of you, then. I'm sure there's articles about you all over their school website. Well, actually, there's probably not any record of me at all anymore. Why would that be? Well, just before I left, there was this huge fire. The office burnt down, all the records were destroyed. Wow. That's interesting. A fire destroying all the school records? A little convenient, don't you think? Not really. Something big like this must be mentioned on the school website. And? It's mentioned on the school website. Work will start in the next few days on the new office block. The old one, which was destroyed by fire earlier this year. Okay, there was a fire. The fire, which was caused by personal persons unknown, was started in the art room. 
Oh, Cleo, you can't seriously hey, do it. You ready? Yeah, all set. Lewis. Hey, how's it going? Fine. So, you've been hanging out with Charlotte. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Because if there's a problem, we, we can talk. There's no problem. Go, have fun. Okay then. Go, have fun. I'm such an idiot. Here's my masterpiece. Look at that. What a piece of junk. What? She's into ceramics. Oh, sure. She says that, Emma. But did that look like it'd make it into a gallery? Cleo, don't. Just leave it. Cleo. I don't know what you think, but she's a bit unstable. Oh, I agree. Totally unbalanced. It's not surprising, given her shape. No. Sometimes I think I was the only thing keeping her together. <laughs> the only thing keeping her together? Wanda. My weather and nautical data analyzer. Last time I tried to set her up, she collapsed. She was a bit unbalanced. She is. Yeah, it's the shape. But then Charlotte made the ceramic stand and now she's rock solid. So, what are you doing out here? Just passing by. See, you can trust him. You're gonna give this up now, right? Right. There's nothing going on. You just need to put this all behind you. Okay. Someone left their diary here. You mean Charlotte left her diary here? This is where she was sitting. No, Cleo, you definitely can't. I won't. I'll just put it safely behind the counter. I'll put it behind the counter. It's a okay, counter. It. No, it's really best to fight. Oops. Cleo. My fault. RJ. Meet RJ. RJ. Keep her running. I won't be long. I've been doing some thinking, and there's a few things we need to get straight. Look, if you've come here to tell me that we can't possibly be together, then I'll save you the trouble. We can't possibly be together. Is that what you want? No! <laughs> What's the real problem? Okay, but you've got to promise. Come that... on! Can we go already? Yeah, in a minute, Nate. Forget it. I should go. No, 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 Ricky, Ricky. Come on. I mean, you obviously want to tell me something.
I knew I'd find you here. But it's okay. I'm alone. So now you know. Yeah, you're, you're still a... Um... A mermaid, Dane. I'm still a mermaid. That's what I meant. Thanks for covering for me with Nate. No problem. You should have just told me. Really? And what would you have said? What would you have done? Look, I'm sorry for the trouble I've caused you, but this time is different. I mean, come on, Ricky, just risk it. I don't care about this, about everything. Let's get back together. Look, for a long time, I was the only one around here who believed in mermaids. I can handle it. I wish I could believe you. Listen carefully. I can handle it. Believe me now. It's all here in the diary. RJ, RJ, RJ. She's meeting with him next week. All right. Maybe RJ is her boyfriend. But isn't that a good thing? What's that supposed to mean? Lewis and Charlotte are just friends. Look, Cleo, I know you still have feelings for him. But all this has to stop. And it will. Right after Lewis finds out about RJ. can admit it to Lewis. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This photo is from my theatre group. We're doing Romeo and Juliet, RJ. Those meetings are rehearsals. Here. Anything else you need explain? No, that... Pretty much does it. Have a word. I wanted to talk about today. Lewis, forget it. Please. No, no, hear me out. All that stuff you said about Charlotte, I was thinking that maybe you were, this is just a thought, that maybe you were a little jealous. Charlotte's just a friend, Cleo. Not like us, we're good friends. Yeah, I know. And if you've changed your mind about us, then hey, just let me know. Lewis. I just wanted to find out more about her. If she's getting close to you, she's getting close to our secret. That's all? You're just protecting your secret? Yeah. That's all. Okay. It's 
Good to know where I stand. See you around. Lewis, wait! Okay, there's two conditions to us getting back together. Number one, we have to keep our mermaid identity a secret. No problemo, what's the other catch? We don't let Cleo or Emma find out we're back together. Promise? Promise. Seriously. Okay. I promise. And we can't be seen together in public. You'll have to say goodbye to me here. You sure make a lot of rules, don't you? Okay. Okay. I'll play your way. You know where to find me. Whenever you want to see me, just call. Okay. Okay.